Hi guys, Miss Rivera here. And today we're gonna be reading the story of the Elks and the Shoemakers. This is an original dream story. It's basically known as one of the most famous fairy tales from the Dream Brothers. And here it's important that you notice that they are changing this um, fairy tale into graphic novel version. So it's very interesting to see it almost like in a comic book way. And I want you to pay attention to all of those details because at the end in the comment box, you're gonna find um, some questions and your assignments for today. So I hope you enjoy it. Have a beautiful day after you watch it. And I'll expect your answers at the end through Teams, Dojo, or text message. So let's begin the story. The Elves and the Shoemaker, a grim graphic novel by Martin Powell. Cast of characters Frida and Emric. The Elves, Lady Diffendorf and Elsa. The Peddler Once, long ago, there lived a poor shoemaker named Emric. Emric loved his job. He worked very hard at his craft. Everyone in town knew that his shoes were the best. Perfect. All finished. The shoemaker might not have been the richest man in town, Hi there, kids. But he was very kind. People throughout the land knew of Emric's generosity. Poor folks often traded their goods in exchange for Emric's shoes. That suited him just fine. The old picture peddler traded it to me, Frida. And the carpenter traded me this frame. Oh, Emric, they're beautiful. There. That painting makes the whole room feel alive. Later that night. I had better get to work before my last candle goes out. But when the shoemaker reached for his supplies... Oh no, there's only enough leather for one tiny pair of shoes. Emric finished cutting just as the candle went out. Seems I'll have to finish these in the morning. That bright morning, I had a strange dream last night, Frida. I went to my work table and found that the pair of shoes I was making were already finished. How can this be? This is the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. Suddenly, the shoemaker's wealthiest customer arrived. Lady Dippendorf, what a, um, pleasant surprise. I need some fashionable shoes for Elsa, which I sincerely doubt you'll have in this pigsty of a store. But she insisted we come in anyway. Hmm, I see nothing worth buying on your shelves. I'm so sorry, I... These are pretty, Mama. Why, yes, Elsa, these are rather nice. Hmm, a perfect fit. I love them. This should cover the cost. Keep the change. Thank you, Mr. Shoeman. Look, Frida, she gave me four gold coins. I was afraid to ask her for even one. Oh my, that is good news indeed. Now we can afford to buy food and pay our rent. I'm so proud of you, Emric. Later, after Emric had finished his errands, I even had enough money left over to buy more shoe leather. Time to get to work. Oh, 